What if Goku escaped to Beerus' world after Planet Namek? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 4? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and don't forget to click that bell that you'll be the first to know any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on what if Goku has escaped to Beerus' world after Planet Namek, we mentioned that Goku has trained every day for 7 years straight with Whis as he managed to go and get a lot stronger. Throughout his training, Gohan and Vegeta were very curious and they also wanted to go and train with Whis. As Goku went and he let Gohan train with Supreme Kai, helping him to unlock his mystic form. And from there, Vegeta came and trained with Whis as he was also able to use Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue. One day, the Supreme Kai told him to go back to Earth and fight Majin Buu as he's going to be released. When they went, Vegeta went and he beat everyone that was there as he killed Babidi and from there Gohan went and he was beat the crap out of Majin Buu and before he can kill him, Goku stopped him as Buu agreed to join the Z fighters. From there, Vegeta challenged Goku to a fight as Goku went and he beat Vegeta with his Super Saiyan 2 Blue power. Beerus has awakened up as he was very curious to fight a Super Saiyan God and from there when he saw Goku, Vegeta and Gohan, he then went and fought Vegeta as he pushed Vegeta to his Super Saiyan 2 Blue but he beat him and from there Gohan went and he used his mystic Super Saiyan God power but it was enough for Beerus as he came to fight Goku and now Goku revealed he has a power stronger than a Super Saiyan 2 Blue. Find out what happens inside this part. What if Goku escaped to Beerus' world after Planet Namek Part 4? What? Are you telling me you're holding back a lot? Yes I am. And now you'll see what I'm capable of Beerus. <sighs> Amazing! This mortal really is something else. Well then let's see. Show me your true power. After training with Weeds for almost 8 years, Goku has now achieved the impossible as he went and he took his Super Saiyan Blue power to the next level by transforming into a Super Saiyan 3 Blue, making his power level come to be at 130 undecillion. What? What an amazing power! Oh my god! Curse you Kakarot! You had this power during our fight, and you didn't use it! <laughs> That's my dad, never ceased to amaze me. Goku went, and he punched Beerus very hard, as he started to fight him. Beerus tried to attack Goku, but he didn't stand a chance. As Goku went, and he kicked Beerus' ass, Supreme Kai could not believe just how powerful Goku was, and that he is actually beating a destroyer like Beerus. As Whis was extremely impressed with Goku and he said, That's Goku for you, always surprising us. Goku and Beerus were going at it as Beerus was very impressed with just how powerful Goku was and from there he said, Let me use my full power! And he went and he powered up a blast and he threw it at Goku. Goku saw it and he went through the blast as he went and he punched Beerus right in the face. Beerus got up as he got very mad and he went and charged at Goku and started to attack him recklessly. Not being able to attack Goku at all, Beerus then went and he threw a Hakai blast at him. Goku managed to cut the blast and he dispersed of it as he went 
and he showed Beer just how powerful he was. Beer is then realized that Goku is too powerful for him to handle, as he smiled and he powered up to his 100% and he charged at Goku as both of their power clashed with one another. While they were fighting, the entire universe was crumbling as it couldn't withstand Goku and Beerus' power. As Beerus was going all out, while Goku was only going 20% against Beerus. Goku then went and he kicked it up a notch as he started to use 40% of his power and he was winning the battle. But Jira and Gohan couldn't believe what they were seeing and didn't even know if it's true that you can reach Super Saiyan 3 in a blue state. As Goku's power level was off the chart. Goku went and he decked Beerus very hard and from there Beerus went and he threw in attack giving everything he's got into that blast. Goku went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he threw it at the blast as the blast dispersed from Goku's Kamehameha wave and it went and it hit Beerus. Beerus was trying to push the Kamehameha wave back at Goku but he wasn't strong enough as he lost the battle and he fell to the ground and he lost. Goku has won the fight and he was known to be the mortal that is stronger than their destroyer as Goku's new Super Saiyan 3 power proved to be more than what Beerus can handle. This is really amazing Goku! You really are something else! <laughs> You're really strong yourself Lord Beerus! I have to give you credit for it! Whis came and he congratulated Goku as he couldn't believe Goku was able to beat Beerus and from there Beerus offered Goku to take his place as a destroyer. Goku refused as he didn't want to have that responsibility. Gohan and Vegeta looked at each other and they decided to make each other a rival since they knew Goku is far from their league and they decide to challenge one another and see who will be the one to claim the second strongest title. As they went and they continued their training. While they were doing all this, Frieza's man has already came to planet earth and he made a wish with the Dragon Balls bringing Frieza back and now it's been 8 months since Frieza came back as he went to train to get stronger. Since he heard about Goku and how powerful he was, Frieza decided to do the same and train for one year straight. And now 3 months has passed since Frieza came back and he is ready to go to earth and get his revenge as he has spent one full year to train just for this moment. He then went and entered earth as he was looking for Goku and Vegeta. And until they came, he started to attack the innocent. Bulma went and she called Whis as she told him about Frieza and that he's here to look for Goku and Vegeta to kill them. Once when they heard that, Goku, Gohan and Vegeta stopped their training and they went right back to earth along with Whis and Beerus. As Frieza saw Goku and he was very excited to fight with Goku. Before Goku can go and have his chance against Frieza, Vegeta stepped in and he said, Let me fight him Kakarot, I want to fight Frieza just to see where he stands. As Goku allowed Frieza and Vegeta to fight one another. Although Frieza was not interested in Vegeta, he then looked at him and he said, I don't want to fight you, I'm here for Goku. However, if you want to fight me, I will be more than glad to kill you Vegeta. <laughs> Is that so? Let me see just how powerful you are Frieza. As Vegeta went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue. Seeing that got Frieza a little confused as he said I too have a transformation and he has transformed to his golden form making his power level come to be at 60 decillion. Vegeta with his Super Saiyan Blue power wasn't enough as he took it up a notch and he said look at this. And he has now transformed to a Super Saiyan 2 Blue as his power level came to be at 40 Decilly. Vegeta went and he charged at Frieza as they were exchanging blows with one another. But unfortunately for Vegeta, Frieza proved to be the stronger one as he went and he started to power up and he started to beat the crap out of Vegeta and from there Vegeta didn't stand a chance. Vegeta was confused as he had no idea just how powerful Frieza is and that his Super Saiyan 2 Blue wasn't enough. From there Frieza went and he punched Vegeta very hard and he fell to the ground. Goku saw just how powerful Frieza was as he was very impressed in fighting with him. Vegeta before going down went and threw a big bang attack but Frieza dispersed of the attack and he charged at Vegeta and he decked him very hard. 
Gohan told Goku that he will fight next as he went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue, fusing his mystic power with it as his power level came to be at 50 decillion. Gohan went and he started to fight with Frieza as Frieza was holding his own against him and that got him very annoyed as Frieza noticed that Gohan was able to read every move that he comes with. From there Frieza went and he started to use 100% of his power as he went and he turned the tables on Gohan and he started to beat the crap out of him. Goku was very surprised and from there Frieza went and he powered up and attacked to throw at Gohan. This attack was powerful enough to kill Gohan and destroy the earth. Goku saw that as he came right in front of the attack and he caught it and he dispersed of it. Frieza looked at Goku and he said, Hmm, always interfering, I'll deal with you next. You don't stand a chance against me Frieza, leave this place or else you'll die. Is that so? What will you do? Let me show you. Goku has now transformed beyond a Super Saiyan as he went and he made his Super Saiyan Blue become Evolution. This is my Super Saiyan 2 Blue Evolution. You're done Frieza. What? Please? Did you know he had this power? I'm afraid I did not my lord. This is new for me too. He really is getting stronger and stronger. As Goku's power level came to be at 110 decillion, Frieza went and he attacked Goku but it didn't phase him. As he went and he punched him very hard and from there their battle started. Goku went and elbowed Frieza in the stomach and he kicked him right in the face as Frieza couldn't breathe and from there Goku went and he charged at him and he started to beat the crap out of Frieza. Frieza couldn't hold his own against Goku as he went and he lost his golden power. Goku saw that and he told him to leave but Frieza decided to go and blow up the planet and before he can do that, Gohan powered up a Kamehameha wave and he killed Frieza with it as Frieza died right there. They all went and they celebrated as Gohan and Vegeta couldn't believe that Goku was able to go beyond a Super Saiyan Blue and make it become Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. While they were all spending some time with their family, the next day Goku was at Beerus' world training as Beerus saw his brother Shampa has entered Universe 7. Beerus brought Shampa to this world as he told him that Goku is stronger than him and even Shampa. Shampa couldn't believe that Goku can be stronger than a destroyer as he went and he wanted to challenge Goku to a fight. Goku was very excited to fight Shampa as he went and he transformed to a Super Saiyan 2 Blue Evolution. Goku and Shampa were going head to head as he was holding his own against Shampa and from there he went and started to beat the crap out of him. Since Shenpao is weaker than Beerus, he didn't stand a chance against Goku. While Goku was fighting him, we saw something in Goku's eyes as he realized that Goku has the power to go even stronger and from there he told Beerus to go and fight Goku alongside with Shenpao as he wants both of them to team up to fight Goku. Beerus went right next to Shenpao as they went and they both charged at Goku and started to beat the crap out of him. Goku couldn't hold his own against two destroyer as he felt a push and from there Goku screamed. This is all thanks to you, fighting you both at once. I discovered I had power inside of me that I didn't realize was there. He has now transformed into his Super Saiyan 3 Blue Evolution, making his power level come to be at 700 undecillion. Goku went and he punched Shampa very hard and he kicked Beerus. He Shampa then went and he attacked Goku. Goku held his own against him until Beerus came to help and they double teamed Goku to take him down. Goku went and he said, let's do this and he powered up as he went and started to beat the crap out of both Beerus and Shampa. Beerus and Shampa decided to go and use 100% of their power as they both powered up and they rushed at Goku. Goku felt a little overwhelmed by having two destroyers charge at him as he looked at him and he said, well how about this, I will try this new technique. What do you mean? Now I'll show you the Kaioken!
Goku has now infused his KO can with his Super Saiyan 3 as he went and he charged and one shot both Beerus and Shampa to the ground. Once when they got up, they couldn't believe just how powerful Goku was as he was able to use his Super Saiyan 3 Blue Evolution infusing his KO can times 2. With that, as he went and he beat both Destroyer. After Goku has beaten them, he was the only mortal throughout the entire multiverse known to be the first one to beat two Destroyer at one time. As Whis could not believe just how powerful Goku was and Beerus smiled and he said, hmm, this is Goku, why am I not surprised? I can't believe you have this mortal! Goku is now known to be the strongest inside Universe 7 and 6 as Shampa decided to go and he challenged Beerus to a tournament and that the winner gets to use the Super Dragon Balls and that if Universe 6 win, they get to keep Goku. Beerus accepts this challenge and now the tournament will begin very soon. Find out what happens inside the next part. Make sure you click the bell my Z fans so you'll be the first to know when the next episode of What If Goku Escaped to Beerus' World after Planet Namek comes out.